hi viewers this is sri ramlu so today's topic is current and a charge sensitivity and electromagnetic and a critical damping so that means electromagnetic damping and critical damping okay electromagnetic damping and critical damping here four different topics are there current sensitivity charge sensitivity electromagnetic damping and critical damping so critical damping is also called as critical damping resistance also okay critical damping is also called as critical damping resistance okay let me start what is a critical uh, what is a current sensitivity current sensitivity means the amount of current required for unit deflection right amount of current is required for how much deflection unit deflection unit means one okay so one ampere current that is the meaning of this okay when the one ampere current flows through the galvanometer then it deflects okay so that is a unit so which galvanometer here ballistic galvanometer it is bg galvanometer ballistic galvanometer okay so these critical damping and uh, sorry current uh, sensitivity and charge sensitivities are taken from uh, ballistic galvanometer only so before watching this video first watch the video moving coil ballistic galvanometer moving coil ballistic galvanometer okay friends now amount of current required for unit deflection is called current sensitivity right current sensitivity and its formula is current sensitivity is deflection by current deflection is denoted by angle theta by current okay so this formula is also taken from the ballistic galvanometer okay friends this formula is also taken from ballistic galvanometer c indicates coupling coupling right and a is the area a is the area b is the magnetic field theta is the deflection next charge sensitivity amount of charge required for unit deflection is called charge sensitivity okay here how much current is required for current sensitivity unit for uh, for unit deflection how much current is required that is a current sensitivity for unit deflection for one deflection how much charges are required that is called charge sensitivity okay for unit for one deflection for one deflection how much charges are required that is charge sensitivity here for one deflection how much current is required that is called current sensitivity and see the formula amount of charge required for unit deflection is called current sense sorry, charge sensitivity charge sensitivity is also same formula as that of this but in the place of current charge will present okay for charge sensitivity same as that of the current sensitivity but uh, difference is here where charge only so formula theta by q theta indicates deflection q is what this q is taken from ballistic galvanometer see everything is taken from the ballistic galvanometer only so that is why before watching this video please watch the video ballistic galvanometer moving coil ballistic galvanometer okay friends i will provide link also now substitute the q value only q value here then what you can write here you can write so here and is not a theta not here you have to write it as a substitute as a theta only not theta not then only this theta and theta gets cancelled okay if you substitute theta only then only this theta and theta gets cancelled instead of theta not substitute theta only okay friends so in the place of q let it is theta not theta not it is theta then here it is substituted then uh, theta and theta gets cancelled 
then you can get 2 pi n a b by t c and except 2 pi by t n a b by n is number of coils number of coils leave it a b by c a b by c is what a b or b a a b by c is what current sensitivity so charge sensitivity is also written as 2 pi by t current sensitivity okay friends charge sensitivity is also written as 2 pi by t charge current sensitivity n is n is means number of turns so if you remove the number of turns then what you can write a b or b a by c a b is what s i so in the place of this current sensitivity is substituted okay friends next electromagnetic damping damping means what right damping means decreasing in amplitude what is decrease in amplitude is called damping here which damping electromagnetic damping so what is electromagnetic damping see here when a charge is passed through the galvanometer the coil sets swinging right when the charge is passes through the galvanometer then coil what happens coil starts swinging swinging means it starts oscillating okay oscillating because the coil moves in the field of permanent magnetic permanent magnet okay so when it swings it enters into the permanent magnet and induced current is set up when it enters a permanent magnet induced current will produce right induced current will produce this current gives rise to couple on the coil this current gives rise to the couple couple means the two forces which are acting uh, opposite in direction suppose let it is on coil is in rectangular shape and let for this force is acting into then this side outside will act okay so how much force is acting in this direction same force if it acts then it is called couple or coupling so couple so just now I, so I told you couple is denoted by C C is what two forces opposite equal and opposite forces which are acting on the same body All right from Lenz law the direction of the couple is such as to oppose the motion of the coil according to Lenz law what it is doing couple couple is suppose it is a coil let it is swinging like this okay so not a rotating completely swinging like this when it is swing like this then this couple can acts when it is swinging in this direction couple can acts opposite to it suppose it is swinging like this okay then couple acts opposite to it so opposite acting is the simply lens law only so lens law video is also uploaded please watch the lens lens law just type it lens law and uh, uh, lens law only there you can understand now the coil soon comes to rest and its motion is said to be damped yes see let it is uh, moving like this in this direction then couple acts opposite to it what happens so then it's a uh, swinging slowly now it is swinging this much up later it uh, swing this much up later swing like this and finally it comes to rest later it cannot swing okay now the okay this damping which arises due to the induced current in the coil during its motion in the permanent magnet magnetic field is called electromagnetic damping see electromagnetic damping is because of current only so when the current flows then couple acts this couple can decrease the motion of the uh, some, uh, sorry oscillations are swinging of the coil so then it come finally it comes to the rest this is called electromagnetic damping next what is the critical damping or or critical damping resistance critical damping or critical damping resistance see here when the external resistance of the circuit in which the galvanometer is placed is smaller 
smaller the induced current is larger what is we know uh, there is a one relation between the current and a resistance when the current is high then resistance is low when the current is low then resistance is high yes what he is saying see here listen when external resistance of the circuit circuit in which the galvanometer is placed is smaller when resistance is smaller then induced current is what it is larger okay that is damping is greater okay so more damping will occur okay damping means gradually it stop come into rest that is damping next with sufficiently smaller external resistance the motion ceases to be oscillatory okay so not a smaller resistance if you increase very small resistance then what happens motion ceases to be oscillatory means it continuously moves with the same amplitude with the same speed that is called ceases to the oscillatory okay at what at sufficient small resistance here smaller resistance it is also smaller but this uh, resistance is uh, somewhat greater than this value okay when it is uh, smaller then what happens this oscillations continues to move like this only without stopping that is called motion ceases to be oscillatory next with sufficient smaller extents okay right over the particular resistance for which motion just to ceases to this oscillatory is called critical external damping resistance that means at which the smaller resistance at which smaller resistance body or coil continuously moves with the same amplitude with the same speed with the same swinging that resistance is called critical resistance or critical external damping resistance okay friends now the galvanometer is called as critical damped okay the galvanometer is called critical damped okay suppose resistance is more or less than this then what happens see here with more resistance is called over damping okay if the resistance is more than this resistance this particular resistance then it is called over damping if the resistance is less than this uh, particular resistance that is called under damping see here uh, here so so this last last line with more resistance it is called as over damped with less resistance it is called as under damped okay so uh, intermediate of not or oh, not higher resistance not a lower resistance in between these two resistance if uh, another resistance present that resistance is particular or sufficient resistor so at this resistance what happens oscillations continuously so uh, coil can oscillate continuously without damping without stopping okay that is called critical damping if resistance is more that is called over damping if resistance is less that is called under damping okay friends so these are the electromagnetic damping and critical damping this side current and a charge sensitivity and a, okay these are things okay friends thank you